Guys, Jason here from Lowen Roads. We've got an interesting video today for you. We've got a comparison of this versus that, and which one do you like the best on the brand new Swift Voyager 485 and the 494. Now, we're going to talk a little bit about what they've got in common, and then we're going to go into detail, show the insides of both of them, and show you what they've got, what differentiates between the two. So, on the right hand side here, we've got a 494 Voyager, and this is a 485. Now, they're both Swiss, they're both on the Ford. They are both in the 4 Series. That's a new range for 2024 within Swift. Of course, many of you out there may be familiar with the Voyager 5 Series. I'm talking the 540s, the 564s, 594s, and so on. This is the 4 Series. The main difference, the 4 Series have the overcab beds, which the 5 Series do not. In the 4 Series, there's three. There's the 485, the 494, and the 475. We don't have a 475 today to look at. We've only got these two behind me, but we can talk about that, and we will be doing a video on that shortly when we've got one coming, so do stay tuned for that. So we'll walk around. Let's talk about the vehicle side of things firstly. Now, both of these, of course, are based on the Ford. That's the Voyagers. Ford Transit base. It's a two-litre engine. You can have it in rather automatic or manual. However, either way, it's 155 brake horsepower. As standard, they come with your alloy wheels, reverse camera, cruise control, air conditioning on the vehicle. You get a, a HD touchscreen on the inside with Apple CarPlay, DAB radio, FM, AM, you know, phone enabled, everything like that. Styling and colors wise, the color we call here, it's called magnetic gray. And that is the standard choice on the Voyagers. You don't have any you know, choices there. That's the colour. And I think it looks quite good. You've got the nice big chrome grille. Of course, it's a Ford. It's got that American big chunky front. It's got that American appeal. And that's where it changes, of course, from the Fiat. The Fiat's a little bit more streamlined. Personal preference. I like the Ford. It's what you like. So that's the, the Ford side of things. Now, both of these, size-wise, are the same. They're both 7.54 metres long and they're both under the three and a half ton weight limit. What do I mean by that? I mean that you don't need a C1 license to drive either of these. Any of the four series, you don't need a C1 license. You just need your standard British UK license. So on both of these, you're good to go. Now the 494 is a four berth, as in the 485 is a five berth. This has got five travel seat belts. This has got four travel seat belts. On the back of the motorhome, the Swift side, both got the overcab beds. Spec-wise is very similar. Well, in fact, the spec is identical. It's just layout which is different. They've both got solar panels. They've both got external barbecue points, external shower points. They've both got rear garages. The 485 is a little bit bigger, and we're going to show you that. So this is the 494. Let's jump inside. We're going to show you in now, and you can see what you think. So... This is the inside. I'll give you a little bit of a nose around and then I'll start going into further detail. Now, both of these motorhomes are definitely family orientated. The finish with the Sucel soft furnishing schemes. That's that nice colored cloth material. And then you've got the Sangeli Elm wood grain finish and the white gloss storage unit going right the way across. Now this has got, this is the 494. It's got dual captain swivel seats facing into the rear. This is an automatic. And this is the touch screen unit I was just talking about. Again, this has got fronted, hint, fronted uh, heated front windscreen. It's got air con, st uh, engine uh, stop start, cruise control, air con on the front just here. Privacy blinds, which slides up to give you privacy of an evening time when you're going to bed or whatnot. When you turn around, facing your dinette lounge area just here. So this has got four seat belts in here. Four people can travel. Two there, of course, one in the driver and one in the passenger seat, which is where I'm sat just now. Regarding this dinette lounge area, it doesn't serve any other purpose outside of it being a, a dining table. It doesn't make a bed up or anything like that. So should you wish, you can pick this up, pack it away, put it in the garage, in, in the motorhome or the garage at home or whatnot, 
and that would of course give you more lounge space or you can keep it as it is and it will give you a dining table somewhere to eat your dinner play monopoly have family arguments the two the rear seats here both of these are iso fix so you can put your baby chair and all the, the gear just in there and i think swift has done the four series in such a way where it is family orientated in fact the one best family motorhome award of the year over cab overhead you've got this cab bed just up here with a ladder at the back to climb up there there's a ladder which just sits on there and you can throw yourself up there easy peasy as you wish you've got a light on the back you've got a window just to your left and if you're not using this push it up it's on a spring mechanism and that'll open this front lounge area up just like that and when you're stood in here perhaps it translates on the video opening that up gives you a little bit more head height it feels more comfortable now in the back you've got this beautiful fixed island bed it's nice and airy towards the bottom a lot of island beds sort of fall victim to the entrance points being a bit tight and you have to you know shimmy around here no need because as you can see you've got the two step ups but it's cozy it's comfortable and it feels big in here you've got wardrobes on both sides and storage units I'll show you inside the wardrobe. You've got rails up there, storage units right the way across. You've got a little shelf down below with lights and plugs for your phones and the side table on both sides. You've got another wardrobe just here with another rail at the top. If you wanted to put a television in the bedroom, you can do so, pop a TV bracket just on there it's designed for it and you can hang out in bed like so and this is your sort of view from the rear of the motorhome now you have got a privacy divider which just slides across easy as pie into there and that'll section the rear of the motor half motor ohm off to the front and that just slides in like so in your kitchen, you've got your Dometic full length fridge freezer with your freezer box at the top. And yes, it does open on both sides, which is cool. Kitchen appliances, both these motorhomes use the Thetford Triple X Plus with three gas burners, electric hot plate and an oven grill combined. Neither, unfortunately, have the microwave, but that's something you can get put in and work with you. You've got your sink unit and your kitchen extension point just there. Washroom, toilet, shower situation. You've got this washroom here with your Crema Bianca Marvel finish, which I absolutely love. That's the wall colours and tones. It's a deployable sink, which pops down just like so. That pops down, pops back up when you're showering. Toilet down below. Another storage with mirror. And then this will slide across just like so. And you've got a coat hanger up, below, up above. So this is the 494. You've got the island bed and the four-seater lounge. Let's pop over now to the 485 and show you the differences. Now, externally, they look, in fact, they look identical. The only difference is going to be the size of the garage door. But I think you'd have to have a real keen eye to notice that. I don't think I do so much. So this is the 485. And now you're gonna see a little bit of difference. Of course, you've got the bedroom layout. That's a fixed single. In the dinette, we've got the other side. So four people can sit at the dinette table here. At the front, you've got the passenger swivel chair, but the driver chair, of course, does not. The Ford cab is the same. This is a manual. Of course, you can have this in automatic as well, but the Xent system works the same. The driving works the same. The brake horsepower, the privacy blinds, everything here is, is identical and the same. It's more the layouts that, that change. Over cab bed, same theory. Pop a ladder up the top, lighting and a window. And you guessed it, for those paying attention, that can pop up as well, giving you more space, more lighting and more comfort in here. Well, this is a five berth, five travel seats. How exactly does that work? 
So when you're traveling, you've got five seat belts, the driver, passenger, one just there, and two just here. That makes it five. Why has Swift chosen to do that? Very simple. This motorhome is under three and a half ton, so you don't need a C1. If you had the seat belt just to your left-hand side, unfortunately, it would pop it over C1, and it's going to limit who can drive. Swift made the choice to make it a little bit more accessible, and I think it was a good idea. You want a TV in here? You've got the unit just to my left with a storage cupboard. You can put a freestanding TV with or a bracket on the wall. Storage cupboard, just like so. And then this is the view facing the back of the motorhome. Now, of course, as you can see, the stylings, the colours, the themes are the same. It's the layout that changes. The kitchen have all this, the kitchen and the bathroom has all the same, same appliances, more or less the same dimensions also. On the back, you've got the fixed single bed, which is becoming increasingly popular within the Swift range. Now, this, these beds are, are two singles with the infill cushion in the middle. You don't extend to make bigger. This is just the size of it. You've got your privacy blinds and fly screens and all your windows and sky uh, star sky uh, lights in here. You've got an, ex an excessive amount of storage. Really well done. You've got cupboards all the way through here, in your steps and everywhere. In here, same theory as well with the Crema Bianca, the deployable sink, toilet, mirror, and slidable door works exactly the same and then of course the kitchen is your same with your oven grill thetford triple x plus so this is the inside i'll show you the garages now and you can see what you think so you've got dual access doors on both of these motorhomes check that out so you can access it on both sides You've got lights in both, you've got heating in both, tie-down cables, electric plug-in points, coat hangers, absolutely everything you'd want and need in a garage. Should you want a bike rack, they don't come with a bike rack as standard, but you can put one on just on those bars, piece of cake. The little black dot, that is your reverse camera. And as you'll see, that's the same on both of them. and I'll show you the garage on the 494. Now it's not as big because the bed isn't as big. The access doors are the same dimensions, I do believe, but it's not quite as tall in here because your, your island bed isn't as tall as your fixed singles. But that gives a, a little bit of an idea between the two different voyages. They're both family orientated. They're both finished beautifully and, and, and thoughtfully. You make use of all the storage space. Of course, the seven and a half meters, which is a decent size, but it's not the biggest motorhome out there. Swift certainly do a lot bigger than that, but they utilize the space to the best of their advantage. And Swift should be, you know, credited, especially the design and the build team. They're gorgeous on the outside. They've got that big Ford chunky front. I'm a big fan of it. And price wise, the 485 starts at 69 and a half thousand pounds and the 494 is just a thousand pounds less so again there's not too much of a, a difference there now we've got both of these available for sale go to the description below where you'll find full details we do have vi five series voyages for sale we've got escapes we've got contiki's carreras and ascaris we're a full swift franchise with the entire swift range here in stock available to you